white culture, if you could even call it culture, is based in racism. It was a narrative created by colonizers, like my Portuguese ancestors, in order to justify what they were doing to other people on the continent of Africa and even here in North America. And the narrative was that we white people were better than all other races. And they did so through Christianity. They took the Bible and different scripture verses, twisted it around in order to fit the narrative of colonialism and white supremacy and also the patriarchy. And the patriarchy is white man in power. White supremacy is white man in power. Colonialism is white man in power. And Christianity, for the most part nowadays, is white man in power. There are historical references and proof where the Catholic Church actually said to enslave an African was to save their soul. The kidnapped and enslaved Africans that were here in North America were preached different scripture verses than were actually in the Bible. And that's why they weren't allowed to read. Because if they could read, then they could see that these scripture verses were incorrect and they couldn't be controlled anymore by this white God. And white people, we didn't identify as white until colonialism. We identified as Portuguese or Latvian or German or Italian or French. But then colonialism came around and then all of a sudden we became white and we were superior because we were the chosen race by God and the scripture verses proved it and we had to go into other people's lands and preach the gospel when really it was all a ruse it was all an excuse to go in and rape and pillage the land and the people and the cultures so when I say that white culture is based in racism it's based in racism Christianity was the Trojan horse of white supremacy and colonialism. And Western Christianity, as we know today, is still based within superiority. All Christians think that they're better than everybody else. I grew up in it. I'm very familiar with the culture. And it's part of the problem. There's a reason why most of Trump supporters are Christians. It's because they don't even realize that the conditioning of colonialism and Christianity and the patriarchy is so deeply embedded within them and their identity that they don't even see the truth. Christianity is based in superiority, in white superiority, in white culture, which is all based in racism.